Today is mail call. I got a package in the mail from JP Hunts. And what that means is that belt buckle that I thought was a box plate, uh, he uh, ended up restoring that. And before any of you out there start complaining about me restoring my uh, belt buckle, uh, the buckle that I found when I found it was tacoed over. It was in very bad shape. It was flaking apart. The lead was falling apart on the back. A lot of the edges were flaking off as it was drying out. Within two years, it was just going to be crumbled up to nothing. And I tried to salvage a little bit of it by putting some polyurethane on it. Then I decided that I was just going to get it restored. So I sent it up to J.P. Hunt's thinking it was box plate, and then when he found it, he found out that it was not a box plate. It was a, it was a baby belt buckle, a wire loop belt buckle. It's a very rare belt buckle, a 7 out of a 10 on the rarity, and I just got it in today, so let's open it up together and see what it looks like. I've already cut it because I'm filming with one hand. Cut the box. So this is the first time I have not opened this yet. Let's see what we got here. We got... A little card says preacher digger this is a high impact bullet I personally dug on a permission at the Battle of Ant Antietam I don't know if you have any relics from such a historic battle if not you do now all right thank you JP I look forward to meeting you uh, one day but until then continue uh, uh, sharing or I, don't, I can't read that my I don't have my glasses on his word to everyone uh, I don't know God bless J, JP thank you JP very much and we'll look at that here in just a second I got my certificate of authenticity or I mean a, a restoration this certificate of restoration certify the repair of a damaged Civil War 1839 pattern baby US wire hook belt plate owned by Michael Heim. This restoration was completed by J.P. Hunts in February of 2022. Check that out. That's what it looked like before. And that was the back of it. And look at it now. I can't wait to open it up and see. So that's awesome. Got a, a, a bullet from Antietam and also a certificate. All right. We're getting down to it. And this is going to be it. So I don't think there's anything else in here. So let's remove this box out of the way. And let's slip it down face first. Face first. And here we go. This is the first time I'm going to see it with you. Check that out. Oh my goodness. Check that out. Uh-oh, that is awesome. Put it in a little rocker case for me. Let me take these nails out. And there it is. That is amazing. What a great job. He did putting that together, put, restoring that. Let's put it here in the light. JP, that is unreal. If you guys ever have any restoration and you are at the point that you want to restore, I do recommend that you don't restore if, if it's in good enough condition to leave it naturally. But if it's falling apart and you want to preserve it, he even left the crack in it that was from the, from the original. Check this back out. This is original hooks from the Civil War period. This is original lead from the Civil War period. That is just amazing. Check that out. Wow. Well, I got a special place for it in where I found everything else. Check that out right there. These are the bullets that I found around, and this is a uh, sword hanger that I found also. That is amazing. That's amazing. Here is that high impact bullet from the Battle of Antietam that he sent me, and I'm going to put it in here. 
I'm going to rearrange everything, but I'm going to put it in here with my other stuff, with the, the restoration restored buckle. All right. I'm very excited now. Let's uh, rearrange this and let's put it up on my shelf and see what it looks like. That is good looking there, JP. Check that out. Here's with my breastplate, my Confederate snake sword holder, my 18... 51 Colt Navy powder flask, my script A button, and my New York Militia 1835 New York Militia button, a buckle as well. But that is it. I'm going to head and put the certificate of restoration in there together. So JP, you did a wonderful job. I'm very happy. I think you were more happy than I was. But now that I have it, I can see why you were so excited. It really turned out really good uh, compared to that first time I dug it up out of the ground. Make sure you guys go back and watch that video. It took me seven years to find this. It's the name of that video. And uh, if you guys ever have a restoration need, just give JP Hunts a, a, a call or give him an email. His email is jphuntsrelics at gmail.com. jphuntsrelics at gmail.com and uh, tell him I sent him over, sent you over there. He did a great job. So thanks again, JP. It looks wonderful. It's a great addition to my collection and uh, can't wait to maybe, May in May, after the Nugget Noggin event, I may come up north, may meet you, and we do some Civil War hunting together. God bless and thank everybody uh, for getting out there and making this such a great hobby and preserving that history. God bless. See you the next time around.